My name is Mary and I am an occupational therapy assistant student at Bryant and Stratton College in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Welcome to our armchair exercise program. The population this video is intended to be used with are adults with decreased activity tolerance and decreased generalized strength. Because it is a program in which all of the exercises are done seated, it's also a great option for individuals with conditions such as gait abnormalities, decreased balance, or postural deficits. Additionally, it is a good option for individuals with brittle bones or who are frail with conditions such as osteoporosis because the activities are done without resistance and can be adapted for the individual to do safely. Before starting this program, it's important to know what activity tolerance is and what it means for your daily life. Activity tolerance is an individual's ability to complete a daily task without requiring rest breaks due to fatigue. By completing a program such as the one in this video, which incorporates exercises for the whole body and is a time-based program, we are able to gradually increase the individual's activity tolerance and therefore their capacity to complete daily tasks more easily. Some potential safety concerns to consider. Prior to starting this or any exercise program, talk to your doctor and make sure the activities are appropriate and safe for you to participate in. Also, when initially starting this program, it would be good to be monitored by somebody qualified to make sure that you are performing the activities with the proper form and posture so as to avoid injury. Also, monitor your breathing throughout the exercises and take breaks, especially if you have lung condition conditions such as COPD. We do not want to overexert ourselves. Here are the supplies needed for this exercise program. An armchair, which allows for good posture with our feet flat on the floor, our knees, ankles, and hips bent to 90 degrees, and your back upright. Also, enough room to move your arms and legs without hitting anything. You also need some supportive shoes for your feet, as well as a stopwatch or clock to time your exercises water so that you can drink it during your exercises and not become dehydrated, and paper plates, cardboard, or pieces of paper to use for an exercise. You will need two of these. I will be using a phone with a stopwatch on it to time my exercises. Go ahead and pause the video and gather your supplies at this time. As I mentioned previously, this program is a time-based program, which means each exercise will be done for a certain amount of time rather than a specific number of reps. Finding the just right fit for the duration of exercises and rest means that you feel tired and like you worked your body, but not so tired that you are in pain or unable to catch your breath. For beginners, Try to aim for 10 seconds for each exercise with a 20 second rest break and then move on to the next exercise. If this feels easy, you can decrease the amount of rest in between exercises to 10 or 15 seconds or increase the exercise duration to 15 seconds. But make sure that you are still giving yourself enough rest time in between each exercise so you can catch your breath and your body has time to recover and avoid fatigue. For the examples in this video, I will be doing each exercise for 15 seconds, so there is ample time to note the form and key features of each exercise. You can also do this program throughout your daily routine, which makes it a great option. You can do it during commercial breaks of your TV show, while you're waiting for your toast to cook in the morning, 
or at the doctor's office in the waiting room. Any time that you fit this into your daily schedule is great. As we're going through these exercises, it's important to go through the full range. We care more about posture and completing the just right amount of exercise rather than just getting it done quickly. Also, it is very important that you breathe throughout the exercises. We do not want to hold our breath while completing them. A good way to do this is monitor it yourself and kind of give yourself counts throughout. Breathe in, breathe out. Something to keep in mind to encourage this is to breathe in through your nose like you're smelling the roses and breathe out like you're flickering a birthday candle. Just like that. Now we're ready to get started with the warm up. Here is a demonstration of rule of 90 posture. It is demonstrated in a chair without arms so that the posture is more visible. Notice that feet are flat on the floor with toes pointing forward. Ankles, knees, and hips are bent to 90 degrees. The bottom is at the back of the chair and the back and abdomen are upright with shoulders relaxed and head facing forward. This is the posture that we should start each exercise with. It is now time to begin with our warm-up. Warm-ups are extremely important as they prepare our body for the exercises and prevent soreness and injury after completing the program. Again, with the warm-ups, make sure that we have our just right posture with our supportive footwear on and our supportive chair. And I will be doing each of these exercises for 15 seconds, which will be timed on my cell phone. To begin, our first exercise are neck turns. Again, we want to make sure that our feet are flat on the floor with that good posture and our supportive shoes on. And while we're doing these exercises, we want to make sure that our shoulders, chest, and hips all stay facing forward. This is just about the neck movement. I will go ahead and start my timer now and demonstrate what this exercise looks like. Gently look to the left, over your left shoulder, and then to the right, keeping your shoulders relaxed the whole time. Turn your neck as far as you can without causing discomfort. There's my timer. Go ahead and do that exercise now. The next exercise is an overhead reach. Again, with this exercise, we want to make sure that our upper body is still facing forward. And this is why it's important to have the armchair with the armrests on the sides so that we maintain our safety. To begin this exercise, I will start my timer and then reach over my head with my left arm, giving a little bit of a bend at my tummy, but still maintaining a safe positioning within my armchair. Practice that exercise on your own now. The next warm-up exercise is a calf stretch. For this exercise, you may need to move a little bit forward in your chair, but still make sure that you're safely positioned on it and that you won't fall forward. To begin, select a leg to start with. I will start with my right. Extend your knee so that your heel is resting on the ground. Then, tilt your toes towards your head keeping your knees straight and lean a little bit forward, extending your right arm. The opposite leg stays planted on the floor with that good positioning. You should feel this stretch on the back of your leg. Again, keep this in a comfortable position. If 
Extending your arm forward causes too much discomfort. That's okay. You can just lean a little bit and find that just comfortable position for you. I will begin the timer for the right side. There's the timer. Go ahead and switch to the other side. Again, same positioning, just opposite leg. Make sure you're breathing throughout this exercise. There's our timer. Practice that stretch now. For this last warm up exercise, we are sitting again in the back of our chair with our good posture. This is an arm stretch to get our arms warmed up for the exercises. To begin, start with your right arm. Lean it across your chest towards the left side. With your left hand, push on your upper arm here towards your chest. You should feel this stretch through the back of your arm. Again, we will do this for our just right fit of time, making sure that our shoulders are relaxed and our trunk, our upper body, is staying facing forward, not twisting with the pull of our left arm. Good. Then switch to the other side. Again, keeping those shoulders relaxed, the good posture, and our trunk facing forward. There's our timer. Practice those exercises to get warmed up on your own now. It is now time to begin the exercise portion of this program. When doing these exercises, as I mentioned previously, you will do the exercise for a, sp for a set amount of time and then take your designated rest break and then move on to the next exercise. I would suggest completing all of these exercises two times or two sets of the exercises. This is how we build the activity tolerance and increase our endurance. To begin, our first exercise our marches. For this exercise, you may need to move a little bit forward in your chair, but again, making sure your feet are stable and you are able to keep your trunk upright. We don't want to be leaning with this exercise. These are called marches. You can rest your arms on the armrest of the chair or get them into the activity if you feel comfortable doing so. To do this exercise, lift one leg up off the ground, keeping the other on the ground. Then switch. It's like you're marching from a seated position. I will demonstrate for 15 seconds. Lift up, down, up, down, up, down. If you want to get your arms in it, opposite arm, opposite leg. Again, we're doing these for time, not to see how many you can do as fast as you can. Go at an appropriate pace for yourself. There's my timer. Do this exercise on your own at this time. The next exercise are seated kicks. These will look similar to the marches but have a different effect. Starting with your right leg, pick it up off the ground and extend your knee all the way. Then lower that one down and extend the left one. This alternate, alternating activity is good because it works on both sides of your body and your balance as well. I will begin my timer and demonstrate what this looks like. 
Extend all the way, back down. Extend all the way, back down. Alternating. Only one foot is off the ground at a time. There's my timer. Practice this exercise at this time. This next exercise is what we will use our cardboard or our paper plates for. These are called heel slides. Again, for this activity, you may need to move a little bit forward in your chair. To begin, place one plate or piece of cardboard under each foot. If your foot is bigger than the plate or the piece of cardboard that you have, it's just important to make sure that your heel is on the sliding surface. Again, with this exercise, we will be alternating our left and right foot. Only one is in motion at a time. To begin, you'll slide your, left, your right foot out and then back in, and then the same. Extend your knee as far as you can comfortably and safely do so without losing your balance or injuring yourself. I will start my timer and demonstrate this for 15 seconds. Out and in, out and in. See how only one leg is extended at a time. Again, make sure that you are going at your own comfortable pace. There's my timer. Do this exercise on your own now. This next exercise is an upper body exercise called arm circles. To complete this exercise, we will hold our arms out at the sides so our body makes what looks like a T, as you can see in the video at this time. To begin, you will drop your arms down, bring them towards the back, and curve them up and over like you're making big circles with each hand. Keep your palms flat and your fingers extended and your wrists in line with your whole arm. I will start my timer at this time and demonstrate what these backwards arm circles look like. Drop down, bring them back around towards the front. This is why it's important to have lots of room for movement. Nice and slow and controlled. Make sure you're breathing. There's the timer. Do this exercise on your own at this time. The next exercise we will be doing is for our trunk muscles in our upper body. For this one, you may need to scoot forward a little bit. To begin, this is called tummy twists. Hold your arms with your elbows bent, your hands and fists held about chest height. Keep your feet flat on the floor in a stable position. You will start by turning just your upper body to the right side and then back to the middle and to the left side. Turn only as far as you are comfortable doing and able to safely maintain your balance. I will begin my timer for 15 seconds. Keep your tummy muscles tight while doing this and your feet stable on the ground. There's my timer. Go ahead and complete this exercise on your own. The final exercise of our full body activity tolerance program are called arm circles. To begin this exercise, we will again make sure we have our good posture. Hold our arms straight out in front of us with elbows extended and hands flat. To begin, you will open your arms and cross one over the other. I have my left hand over my right hand, making an X shape that looks like this. Open your arms up again and switch. Now my right hand is over my left hand. 
do a few to get comfortable with the motion. The farther you open your arms, the more challenging it will be. I will demonstrate this for 15 seconds now. Cross, open, cross, open. Again, make sure you're breathing throughout the exercises and going at an appropriate pace so that's not to overexert yourself. There's the timer. Do this exercise on your own now. Thank you for participating in this exercise program. I hope you learned something new today. Therapists, we would love your feedback on the implementation and ease of use of this video. Please click the link in the description below and fill out a short survey.